Hello, today's video is just a quick video to show you what I've been doing crafting with all the bits and bobs that I find in my thrifting adventures. Here we go. Hello you all, I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you all the things I've been making with a lot of the bits and bobs that I find when I go thrifting. I know a lot of you have been interested to see what I do with all of that stuff. <laughs> I didn't wanna make a how I do it video because they're all kind of similar and it would get a little tedious to you know make a video about, well now here's this set of blocks that I've put these things on. So, but I just thought it would be more fun for you to sh see the finished results. I'm sitting here at my craft table. I think I'll turn the camera down. Okay, so I've turned the camera down. I wanted to show you really fast the glues that I use to put these together. So I use my hot glue. This is my Shore Bonder hot glue gun. This is a very good high hot glue gun. I highly recommend this. I think I got mine at Menards. Then I also use my Tight Bond glue, which I get at Ace Hardware, but I think they have it at Home Depot. And then I use my E6000, which I usually get at Michael's or online. And the tight bond I will use for like wood to wood usually. And um, the E6000 I'll use like on metals and plastics, but I'll use them with a dot of hot glue. So it holds the thing in place while these glues dries because these glues take longer to dry than the hot glue. Then I also used my fake snow. I forget where I got mine, but I think they have this at Michael's. I'm sure they probably have something similar at Walmart. So let's start off. So the basis for all of these are just old blocks that I pick up secondhand. I get them at, you know, garage sales or the Goodwill outlet bins. Uh, and if you're not familiar, the Goodwill outlet bins is a place where all like the leftovers from Goodwill go or things go not, never made it to the store go and you shop and pay by the pound. So that's a great place to find these, what I call bits and bobs to put these things together. So I found blocks that it spell out Christmassy things. So this one starts with Mary. Then on each of them, I added a bottle brush tree or two. The bottle brush trees I get also um, usually at the Goodwill outlet bins. A lot of them are from the Department 56 Villages. Some of them I got from Target, so kind of depends. And uh, then I just went through and looked through all the things that I have in my stash and kind of put together a little sculpture that, you know, kind of tells the story or just looks cute together. It might be something that someone wants to display because all of these are going into my Etsy shop. So this little guy I found at the Goodwill Outlet Bins recently, and I really wanted to incorporate him into one of these because he sits on the edge. I thought that was really cute. But he said 1992 on the front of him. So I just used my E6000 to glue a little um, thing of vintage holly pick. So this is the top of a vintage holly pick. Someone sent me a bunch of them. And so I just cut off the stem and attached the holly leaves. And then I just put some other little items that I had all around. And then once everything was dry, I came back with a paintbrush and my snow and just put another layer of snow. So there's, so I glued everything on and then I put snow around. And then if I added things, then I put more snow just to cover up any extra glue that might've been showing. And I'm not worried about the backs of them because these really are made to be displayed like this, obviously, because of the word. But I did make the back of the top look nice. So I made sure to add glue here. Sometimes I added bells just to make it, you know, just to make it look finished off. So there's that one. Then I have this one. This one's really cute. So this one, uh, I, I wanted to use him. He's just a little candle holder, I guess. Someone could technically put a candle in there if they wanted to, but there's only one of him. So I don't know if he was like started on like a, you know, a Christmas carousel or some type of Christmas thing, or if he was just a candle holder, I don't really know, but I could only find one. And so that's not super useful, but this is a way to, you know, make use of these things that would otherwise not have a purpose anymore. So I started with him in the center on my words that spelled, my letters that spelled out snow. And then I added these two little guys. These are two little wooden ornaments that I cut the strings off of. And then these are two bottle brush trees from Target. They did not have snow on them. So I just used my brush to add some snow to them. And then I filled in with some jingle bells. This is actually a flocked boot ornament, but I thought that looked kind of like a snow boot, so I thought that was kind of cute there. So there's that one. Oh, these two I love. These are gonna be hard to let go of, but I actually have, well, I'll start with this one. I have a second angel like this. I found them recently at the bins, and one of them has a broken wing, so I'm just gonna use that one 
uh, to, I think it was at the bins. Maybe it was in a, might've been in a grab bag. Now I'm forgetting. But anyway, one of them is missing a wing. I actually found the wing and then I lost it again. <laughs> So I'll keep that one for myself and this one I'm going to sell. So I spelled out Joy, which I love. And I, pick, I picked a yellow O to kind of go with her hair and then just filled in. Here's the, this is a little bit older bottle brush tree. And uh, on all of the ones that have decor, I just use these old beads that I got. Um, I have a big strand of them. So I just cut the string and just glued on some of the beads for a little bit of decor. Filled in with a little jingle bell and some old poinsettia flowers. I thought that was really cute. I think I'm going to add another bell here right in the back there just to fill it in a little more. And then this one, I love the cool colors of the letters, like with the blue and the green. I just thought that was really pretty. And with her white dress, I think that looks nice. And then um, her little dress has a little holly on it. So I wanted to pick up that red. So that's why, you know, I added the red here on the tree. And then these little holly accents to also pick up on that little pop of holly that she has there and then again I filled in with jingle bells and then the last one is a little bit bigger so this one so this ornament I found I think or someone sent it to me I can't remember but it was broken like it had come unglued and so I just re-glued it um, and then I put that on top of the word Santa and it looks kind of like the chimney is on, you know, is like this at the roof or something. And then I just filled in, you know, with, I just thought these were really cute. Don't know why you'd have bottle brush trees on your roof, but I think it looks cute. <laughs> and then just filled in with jingle bells and this little vintage present ornament. So this one, like two sizes of jingle bells. This one's the bigger one. And then these are actually, I think someone sent me these. They're resin. Sorry, there's a little glue web left. But there's like candles that they sent me and some stockings and different, just different shapes. So I thought that was really cute. I wanted these to look a little more like outside trees. That's why I didn't put the beads on them. But I thought that was really cute. that's it. Those are my creations. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been working on. And um, I thought I thought it would be a good way to give you some ideas of things that you can make with little bits and bobs that you might find when you're out thrifting or that you might already have. Just a great way to repurpose stuff. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.